My dear friends, we thank the Lord for the gift of yet another day. The Lord has given us another day to praise, worship and revere Him. He has given us another day to praise Him through our words and through our deeds. Another day by which we can follow the gospel values. Another day by which we can reach out to those around us and thus find God in others. With grateful hearts, let us thank the Lord for the gift of this day. We may have many plans, many worries. At this moment, let us surrender all this at the feet of the Lord. As we begin our morning, as we welcome this new day, let us place our thoughts, our intentions before the Lord and let us recite this selection of prayers. As we recite the morning offering and the morning prayers, we pray for each and every one of us and we also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intention of the Pope for the month of June. Families, we pray for Christian families around the world. May they embody and experience unconditional love and advance in holiness in their lives. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. 
send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth Lord by the light of the holy spirit you have taught the hearts of your faithful in the same spirit help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation we ask this through christ our lord amen prayer for priests gracious and loving god we thank you for the gift of our priests through them we experience your presence in the sacraments help our priests to be strong in their vocation set their souls on fire with love for your people grant them the wisdom understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of jesus inspire them with the vision of your kingdom give them the words they need to spread the gospel allow them to experience joy in their ministry help them to become instruments of your divine grace we ask this through jesus christ who lives and reigns as our eternal priest amen the breastplate of saint patrick i arise today through a mighty strength the invocation of the trinity through a belief in the threeness through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation christ with me christ before me christ behind me christ in me christ beneath me christ above me christ on my right christ on my left christ when i lie down christ when i sit down christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me christ in the eye that sees me christ in the ear that hears me amen the angelus the angel of the lord declared to mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray po forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts 
that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph i never weary contemplating you and jesus asleep in your arms i dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when i draw my dying breath saint joseph patron of departing souls pray for me amen prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen 
pray to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Holy Mary pray for us Holy Mother of God pray for us Holy Virgin of Virgins pray for us Mother of Christ pray for us Mother of the Church pray for us Mother of Mercy pray for us Mother of Divine Grace pray for us Mother of Hope pray for us Mother most pure pray for us Mother most chaste pray for us Mother inviolate pray for us Mother undefiled pray for us Mother most amiable pray for us Mother admirable pray for us Mother of good counsel pray for us Mother of our creator pray for us Mother of our savior pray for us Virgin most prudent pray for us Virgin most venerable pray for us Virgin most renowned pray for us Virgin most powerful pray for us Virgin most merciful pray for us Virgin most faithful pray for us Mirror of justice 
pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us star of david pray for us star of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord Amen. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou. O prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of God thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all 
the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friends today's readings invite us to place our faith and trust in the lord now in today's first reading we see how the people were worshiping other gods people rejected and abandoned god and they began to worship false gods still we see that god is merciful god forgives and god therefore sends the prophets in order to tell the people to change and come back but we see that the people did not listen to the prophets and then when the lord sent zechariah the son of the priest in order to warn the people in order to tell the people to change the people killed him and then we see what were the consequences that the people had to face the same people who in yesterday's first reading went and destroyed the temple of baal today we see that they were worshiping again other gods they had forgotten and abandoned the god who had saved them and who had given them all that they needed in our lives too sometimes we may get carried away by the things of the world and we may forget all the favors the lord has done for us today is a day to turn back to the lord to thank the lord for all that he has given us our gifts and our talents and this same theme of gratefulness is also carried in today's gospel passage where jesus tells us that do not spend your time unnecessarily worrying about the future in short what jesus wants to tell us is that you do your part you do what is necessary whatever is your mission the rest place it in the hands of the lord the lord will take care of the rest and he tells us that we need to seek righteousness if we are able to follow the gospel values if we are able to identify and see god in others automatically we will be able to respect others a society would be a peaceful and loving society and thus we will see that we will be able to experience the joy and mercy of the lord in our day to day living jesus tells us today that we indeed are special because god has breathed his own spirit in us and he has made us in his image and likeness and therefore god knows for all our needs god cares for us and gives us whatever is needed at the right appropriate time so as we reflect on the readings of the day and as we begin this new day let us ask the lord for the grace that first and foremost we may be grateful for what we have received in our lives and secondly that we may take each day as it is that we may learn to live in the present and be present to those who are around us Amen